6 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Kanus Ashraf. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has expressed surprise over U.S. remarks on minorities' rights in Pakistan and said that all citizens enjoy equal rights in the country. Foreign Office spokesperson says the Indian government has got removed a news story about Kulpushin Yadev from a newspaper. Police arrested 355 suspects during search operations in different areas of Kohat today. In occupied Kashmir, four Indian policemen were killed in a powerful bomb blast in Sopo town today. U.S. Secretary of State says Trump administration is working with key lawmakers on a legislative fix over Iran nuclear deal. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahid Haqqan Abbasi has expressed surprise over U.S. remarks on minorities' rights in Pakistan and said that all citizens enjoy equal rights in the country. He was addressing a ceremony of the Hindu community at Ghotki today. Shahid Haqqan Abbasi said the constitution of Pakistan guarantees equal rights to all the citizens and the minorities enjoy complete freedom in the country. He said it is the responsibility of the government to guarantee security and protection of minorities. He said we are proving through our actions that Pakistan is an independent state where all the citizens are living in in an environment of equality and brotherhood. Shahid Haqqan Abbasi said Islam is a religion of peace and its teachings safeguard the rights of the minorities. He said the founder of Pakistan, Qaidi Azam, has also emphasized for equal rights to all citizens irrespective of their faith. Prime Minister Shahid Haqqan Abbasi says under the PMLN government, the country is taking huge strides towards unprecedented progress and development with construction of 1,800-kilometer motorway network and efficient functioning of gas and power plants. He was addressing a gathering after inaugurating RNLG gas pumping station at Rahimabad near Sadiqabad today. Shahid Haqqan Abbasi said the government has addressed chronic energy problems, keeping in view requirements of the next 15 years. The Prime Minister said the government firmly believes in serving the masses by delivering on its promises. He said the opponents who want to test their performance should contest the general elections to be held in July this year, and the people would decide about their fate. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif says PMLN will emerge victorious in the next general elections on the basis of its performance. Addressing a public gathering at court moment today, he said that major challenges facing the country have been effectively addressed. He said power load shedding has been overcome due to effective measures of the government. New job opportunities have been created for the youth. He said the fate of the people of the country has been changed and the country have been put on a new direction during the tenure. Foreign Office spokesperson Dr. Mohammad Faisal says the Indian government has removed news story telling truth about convicted spy Gulbushan Yadev from a newspaper. In a tweet, he said the journalist reporting the story has also gone missing and untraceable for his family and friends since then. The Foreign Office spokesperson said the truth is stranger than fiction and this move by Indian government questions the freedom of press in India. Indian paper The Quint had in one of its stories accepted the truth that Kulpushan Yadev was a spy and that some raw officials had reservations about his appointment. Quoting former officials of raw as its sources, the paper also pointed out that it was a mistake of the spy agency to recruit an agent whose background in tradecraft was not sound enough. Police arrested 355 suspects during search operations in different areas of Kohat district today. According to DPO Kohat, 33 proclaimed offenders and a number of Afghan citizens living in the area without valid traveling documents are among the arrested people. Arms and ammunition were also recovered from them. Sindh police has arrested six wanted criminals in a search operation in Larkana. Narkana police spokesman told Radio Pakistan that weapons have also been recovered from the suspects. 
Funeral prayers of former Air Chief Air Marshal retired Askar Khan were offered in Abbottabad today. A large number of people from all walks of life attended the funeral prayers. Earlier, state funeral of Air Marshal Askar Khan was held at New Khan Air Base Rawalpindi this morning. Prime Minister Shahid Khakan Abbasi, members of the Cabinet, Chief of the Armed Forces and Chairman Joint Chief of Staff Committee General Zubair Mahmood Hayat attended the funeral prayers. This is Radio Pakistan. AJK President Sardar Masood Khan says constructive efforts will be made to effectively highlight Kashmir dispute at the international level. He made these remarks during his meeting with Speaker AJK Legislative Assembly in Islamabad today. Masood Khan said India has started a systematic proxy war in Pakistan to destabilize the country. He said India is abetting terrorism in Pakistan and employing ignominious diplomatic maneuvers to demonize Pakistan's stance on the Kashmir dispute. In occupied Kashmir, four Indian policemen were killed in a powerful blast in Sopo town today. A senior police official told media that the blast occurred when an improvised explosive device went off in gold market area of the town. He said that three shops were also damaged in the explosion. The blast occurred amid complete shutdown on the completion of 25 years to a deadly massacre by Indian troops in the town. Call for the shutdown was given by the joint resistance leadership comprising Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwai Zumar Farooq and Muhammad Yasin Malik. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says the Trump administration is working with key lawmakers on a legislative fix to enable the United States to remain in the Iran nuclear deal. In an interview, he said today the changes to the U.S. law codifying America's participation in 2015 agreement could come as early as next week or shortly thereafter. In Saudi Arabia, 11 princes have been arrested for staging a protest at one of the king's palaces in Riyadh and refusing orders to leave. A state-linked Saudi news website reports the princes were sent to higher prison south of Riyadh, run by Saudi intelligence services, where militants and al-Qaeda terrorists are held. In Iran, thousands of government supporters staged rallies for a fourth day today in a backlash against widespread protests. Iranian state television showed rallies in cities included Amul, Semnan and Shadigan waving Iranian flags and chanting anti-America, anti-Israel and anti-Britain slogans. More than a week of unrest has seen 22 people dead and more than 1,000 arrested in the biggest anti-government protest for nearly a decade. Cricket. New Zealand beat Pakistan by 61 runs in the first one-day international of five-match series at Wellington today. Batting first, New Zealand scored 315 runs for the loss of seven wickets in the stipulated 50 overs. Pakistan were batting at 166 runs for the loss of six wickets in 30.1 overs when the match was stopped due to rain. Australia were 479 for four in reply to England's 346 at the stamp on the third day of the fifth Ashes Test in Sydney today. Australia lead by 133 runs with six wickets remaining in the first innings. And finally, the weather report. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. Foggy conditions are likely to prevail over plain areas of Punjab and Upper Sindh during night and morning hours. To end the news headlines once again. Prime Minister has expressed surprise over U.S. remarks on minorities' rights in Pakistan and said that all citizens enjoy equal rights in the country. Foreign Office spokesperson says the Indian government has got removed a news story about Kulpushan Yadiv from a newspaper. Police arrested 355 suspects during search operations in different areas of Kohat today. In occupied Kashmir, four Indian policemen were killed in a powerful bomb blast in Sopo town today. U.S. Secretary of State says Trump administration is working with key lawmakers on a legislative fix over Iran nuclear deal. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com, Radio Pakistan News Official.